Hello, my name is Ellen Bourne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am turning myself into a terrifying version of Snow White, taking away this glamorous version of Snow White that I've just made myself into. I've been wanting to do a Twisted Disney series on this channel for a little while, and I thought, what a better way to start it than with Snow White. I rewatched the original Snow White a couple of weeks ago, and to be honest, doesn't capture my attention the way it did when I was a little kid. I think I'm not so much of a Disney purist and I actually prefer the new Disney films to the old Disney films. But you know what, once upon a time it was the greatest animated film of all time. And an OG Brothers Grimm tale, so. Let's take the concept of Snow White biting into the poisoned apple and falling asleep waiting for her true love's first kiss and change it up a little bit and maybe turn it into Snow White biting the poison apple and her face melting off because if I were writing a Disney story that's probably what I'd write because I can't write things for children and this is why my degree in creative writing sits on my wall and doesn't get a lot of use. I'm looking a little rosy tbh probably a little bit too rosy for the deadness that I want to portray here. So my idea is that I want this side of my face here to be very very pale and for my lips to have started melting off about here so there'll be a little rip and I'm gonna paint in some teeth and grossness and there'll be some poison coming up here and veins and it'll all be really terrifying and dirty and yuck just generally yuck I should really go back to having black hair this is what this wig is telling me right now black hair was a vibe One thing that I probably should do that I haven't done yet is take off half of my lip makeup. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I can do this without wrecking everything. Ooh. Okay. So taking my makeup off on the side that doesn't have to be too exact. Okay, we're starting to look pretty pale and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start making myself look really gaunt. As gaunt as possible. I'm just using a relatively big fluffy blending brush and some contour powder. Um, and what I want to do is get all the real sunken-y bits of my face. Like the parts that would normally be decently sunken such as the cheekbones and these bits inside my forehead and just kind of up here and then maybe like in here I have to pull faces when I do this because I can never remember where my ligaments are if you can remember where your ligaments are you're a better artist than me. And in this case, I am gonna drag it down pretty far. Normally I would push my contour upwards to lift my face up, but here I wanna look like real dead, so I'm gonna drag it down instead of lifting up. Oh, that really like squares it off a bit, gives it kind of a Maleficent cheekbone kind of vibe. And then also around the eye, basically anything that would be a socket. And then I kind of want to pat a little on my nose too, just to see if that will, I don't know if it'll work, but like to sink that in a bit too. So now we're very gaunt. Um, and I'm going to go over that again with a darker brown. So I'm going to use this Jessup brush. And I'm just going to shade this in like a little bit. Mmm. A very sexual Snow White. 
not at all looking dead on one side of the face. The next thing is I probably want to get a little bit of a start on the mouth. So here, oh, here, <laughs> wherever, here, definitely here. So I'm just using an eyebrow marker to mark out where I want the kind of rip to be. Kind of a little triangle overlapping my real lips. With this, I'm just gonna mix up a really pale yellow color for my teeth, or maybe not so much a pale yellow color, but just yellow in general. I look like I just drew Big Bird on my face. It's fine. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do now is take a white Mayron Paradise Acupaint and a slightly smaller brush and I'm just gonna start adding that on top of the yellow teeth just to mix it in and make it like a lighter yellow. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just stippling a little bit of really, really watered down blue Paradise Accu paint over where I've done the white. Um, and I just wanna do that before I get the lips and stuff in so that I don't have any weird uh, like demarcation lines where I paint the torn off flesh. And then I'm gonna repeat that process with green as well, just watering it down a lot and adding it in to create some sort of veiny skin tones. I'm just gonna go back over my collarbone and make it look a little bit more sunk in. I gotta recover this face again. Okay, I'm going in with a flat shader brush and a couple of colors from the Modern Renaissance palette over my teeth to shade them and give them some depth and dimension and make them look really gross and rotting and like the poison has just immediately destroyed everything about Snow White that made her beautiful. So I'm now taking a liner brush from Jessup and the Mayron Paradise Acu paint in red um, and I'm just going to line between my teeth and where that original mouth, ripped mouth outline was. I'm taking a teeny tiny little bit of the color red ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna just pop that around my teeth and just around the skin to make it look a little bit irritated where the dead mouth is. And then I'm going to go back in with a small flat shader brush and the color Cypress Umber to add a little bit more depth around that so it looks like it's popping out a bit more. And then I'm gonna highlight that with a teeny tiny bit of white. Teeny tiny bit. Teeny tiny. We must stress. Tiny. Teeny little. Little teeny tiny. Oh, I might do a tiny little highlight on the teeth actually, just to make them pop a little bit more. Now I'm going to find the tiniest liner brush I can. With the tiniest liner brush that I can, I'm going to start adding in some blue and green veins to my face.
I have no face. Well, there you have it. This is my snow white zombie look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you learned something cool in joining me on this expedition. I'm gonna go take some photos of this.